What's up everyone? Excited today. We're here at Logan Coach as you can see. Uh, we're going to go inside, take a look at what it takes to build these beautiful trailers. Check out the craftsmanship, the quality, learn a little bit about the company, meet the team. So let's head on inside and, and see what we can see. Okay, here we are in the shop at Logan Coach. We're here with Steve, the production manager. Steve, tell us a little bit about what we're about to go experience, your history with Logan Coach, how long you've been here, a little bit about the company. So Logan Coach has been around since 1985. I've been here since 1991, I think. Okay, so you know your way around yeah, trailers. Yeah, so I've been around a little while, but this is our manufacturing plant. We got about 170 employees right now, oh, 150,000 wow, yeah. square feet under one roof. Um, we build everything from two horse bumper pulls to 53 foot open deck sport haulers here. So and that's awesome. It's all done in one place. Gotcha. So as we go around, what is kind of the, I mean, we'll see everything from, you know, where it enters the building to the final product going out. What's kind of typically the time frame? What's it take to build, kind of build a trailer? So if it doesn't have to come over here to the living quarter shop, Typically, from start to finish, it's about two, two and a half weeks. Okay. If you has to have a living quarter package added, it that adds another four to six, depending on a lot of so different variables. But right. So generally, about three weeks for a non-living quarter, and probably about eight weeks for a living quarter. Cool. All right. Well, let's go check it out. Let's see the team back here building them, and see why these trailers have such great quality and have a staple in the industry. So this is kind of where it all starts for the most part. I mean, obviously it starts with an order from a guy, right? Right, right. But we pretty much build all of our own parts, all the sheet metal work, saws, tubing cuts, things like that are started right here in the fab shop. That's all. So it just comes in big rolls of sheeting, metal. Yeah. All these big pallets. So everything in house, cutting to fit, the welds, everything. They'll cut it down to size, put any bends on it. That's, that's really cut cool. Cut the tubing to length. We've invested a lot in our business this year with some new equipment that we'll show you, but that's awesome. So this is our weld line. This is kind of where, this is where everything gets started getting assembled. We have two lines, as you can see. Either line can build any trailer that we build from a okay. two horse bumper pull, small little trailer to a giant custom 15 foot living whatever. quarter or whatever. That's cool. Either one of them can build either so, soil. So. That's awesome. So tell us the materials. I mean, we can see the frame and the structure of the trailers here. What materials are we using? What's, yeah. What stands out right here? So let's look at this trailer right here. Okay. There's a handful of things that make our trailer different than almost anybody else on the market. One is the galvanized tubing. So you can see all of this tubing is all galvanized. Yeah. So it doesn't turn red, it doesn't rust, right? Which then, is huge. I mean, we trailers are a big investment, especially in the Stoneware world. We drive harsh conditions, the salts on the road. Yeah. Like for me, that was a big point that turned me to you guys was was the no rust, right? Galvanized, yeah. it might be a little heavier, but it's strong, no rust. It looks new as it goes out through the life of its trailer. Yep. Yeah. So the galvanized tubing and then all of the whatever sheet metal there is on it that still is also galvanized so it doesn't have a rust problem either so that's awesome that's one of the few things that's different than our trailer than anybody else's okay so this is probably the second most unique thing that we have is this spray-on bed liner that we use it's, it's made by vortex uh, spray-on liners okay anywhere that's not covered with an aluminum sheet or wood or something like that will get sprayed, like the tongues okay. around the fenders, underneath, that right. kind of stuff. A lot where a um, lot of the road grimes yeah. spraying up and, and stuff. It is just phenomenal stuff. It, we even put it on the floor of the snowmobile trailers and, and, and you guys with the screws in your tracks right. and the, the carbides Carbide. on your skis and all the stuff that you do to it get traction, it, it doesn't even right. affect it. So, so pretty neat yeah. that it's I mean, already using galvanized steel, really high quality, doesn't rust, doesn't corrode. But then, just to be sure, go and coat it, seal it up even more, a little more durability, make the trailers last longer for these people yeah. or for future owners of these trailers. Yeah. Pretty, really pretty good. incredible, yeah. So all of our skins inside and out, no matter where they're at, even that extrusion is all put on with 3M double sticky tape. 
VHB, it's very high bond adhesive. Okay, so you're putting that on the skins and then that yeah. will, will attach it to our, our galvanized struts going yeah. up. So they'll actually go and put it on every one of those uprights and all that tubing, and then they'll peel off the red stuff and, and stick, stick, the, the, stick the skin on skin there. To it. That's cool. And then pretty much like 90% rivetless trailers, right? Pretty much. Most everything is just this, this sealed tape. Yep. Other than the real high bend areas. Yeah. Right? When anywhere there's a lot of stress. Right. So, right on. Another thing that's kind of unique to our trailer at this point is almost all of our skins are 050, which is almost double what most other people use. Really? We so don't. It's just thicker. Yeah, it's thicker, not heavier. Don't get that ripple yep. down them. Don't get near as much wave. They don't grow and shrink in the heat and cold right, near yeah. as much. Um, they don't dent as easy. And then just rigids the trailers up a little yeah. bit more. It takes that little bit of flex driving down the road. Yeah. That's awesome. I was just telling Mason, so I like to introduce this section. This is actually the finish room, but I like to call it where all the pretty happens. Right. So we've seen, <laughs> seen the metal come in the building, seen it welded, put together, coated, where the skins start getting attached. Good. And Go then ahead. here's where we start adding the bling and everything to it. Yeah, so in this little scaffolding section right here, we call this our topping station, where they put on a roof sealant, all the lights on top. Okay. Anything from about here up, windows in the top they'll do up there, things awesome. like that. And then kind of from here, it's like a, it's like Henry Ford's assembly line. They just, you know, each station has their own thing and it goes down the line gotcha. and by the time it goes out the other end, it's done. So, so we got the skins on, we're just starting to add lights, wiring, yep. the accessories inside. Basically all of our motorsport stuff really, um, but especially the snowmobile trailers, they get insulated all four corner, all four sides, floor, roof, and both walls. Gotcha. Um, what type of insulation typically doing? Just some foam board yeah, or spray so it's, on? Yeah, uh, polystyrene foam, I think they okay. call it. We use this black stuff is the highest R value available. Okay. Um, it's not much, about seven and a half. Okay, so that's going there. in the walls and then in the roof, yep. the ceilings of the trailers. Yep. And then what are you doing in the floors of them for insulation? In the floor, it has a two and a half inch uh, same foam. The but same it's two and a half board. inches okay. thick. Awesome. Yeah. It has aluminum sheet on the bottom, and then the foam layer, and then a three-quarter inch plywood on top of that. Gotcha. I'm all about that. So we'll see later in some of these trailers, and, and the trailer they built for me, we have two heaters in it, and I hate being cold, and I hate starting my snowmobile ride being cold. Like, you want to turn the heat on, have it nice and warm in there, warm when you get back. It makes your experience a lot better. So, Come down the line. These trailers here are starting to look pretty finished. What's what's going on down here? So this is kind of our inspection and quality control room. Um, a few things do get added at this point, but for the most part, they're pretty well done by they get to here. Or by the time they get to here, um, yeah, it kind of looks like tires and wheels are on, windows are going yeah. in, just the last few minute touch yeah. up items. So there's some trailers that are completely done when they leave this room, and there's some that have to go over to the living quarter side. Right. So Cause, cause not like everything goes out of here completely done. Right, because there's some that, you know, some guys don't want some of the trim or the living quarters. But the cool thing about Logan is like we said at the beginning, like if you dream it, they'll build it. So if you want full slide outs, you know, trim it out with fridges and couches and cabinetry, you can do that, right? Yeah. So let's go check that out. Yep, we can do her. So we build all our own cabinets here. Everything um, in-house, yep. right? Oh, this is the living quarter area. This is where all that gets installed. All of our cabinets are all solid, knotty alder. Okay. And we stain them five, six different colors, something like that, I can't yeah. remember. But we build everything in-house. Pretty much um, build shit, whatever kind of shape, cabinetry, you could dream up, right? Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. It's kind of cool as we've gone through like, you know, the smells of the weld shop, this kind of fab shop, the smell of the, the lining. Now in here, it's like we're in a wood shop, you know? <laughs> it smells like we're in a lumber yard and it's pretty cool. But it's cool that if all of this is under one roof, we haven't been outside once. Yep. You can just keep an eye on everything, the quality control, just everything is centralized. And yep. It's really neat. But you asked if there's anything we won't do and I jokingly said build a cheap trailer. 
We have tried and tried and tried over the years to build something cheaper. Kind of a cookie a little, cutter. Yeah, right. and we can't do it. Yeah. It is not It is not in our blood. It is not in our hearts. To, yeah. We don't do it. We yeah. can't. Yeah. We just can't make ourselves do it. And so that's, that's how it should be, though. Yeah. We all love what we do around here. We all use them. We're, you know, whether it's the horse guys on the horse side or motorsports right. guys on the other side, you know, we all use them. Yeah. They're impressive trailers and just, just awesome. Quality, good quality. We got good guys. Yep. Yeah, team They do a house. good job. Oh, right. They care about what they're doing, you know, and you can tell. Thank you.